Hey, my name is Clark Schlesinger. I'm going to be hosting Amphitheater Unplugged on August 15th. Make sure you guys come out and check me out there. I actually started playing music a really long time ago. Uh, pretty much as everybody does, I started as like a shower singer type thing. Uh, my first official gig was probably when I was like three years old. I started to play at the piano a little bit. Uh, and then from then it kind of transgressed into more advanced things. I learned the drums at age seven when I just was bugging my parents nonstop trying to get them to buy me a drum kit. Uh, and then I was actually the lead drummer and singer in a little rock band for about like, five years. Uh, then after the band broke up, I still wanted to keep doing music, so I decided that I had to kind of have a new avenue to do that because it was hard to play the drums and just sing with like no backup. So I actually uh, learned the guitar as a result. And I've been playing guitar for about three years since, and I, I love every single moment. I've been doing the Mississauga Arts Council and the scene for, I'd say, a good night, two thirds of my life, I'd say. <laughs> uh, the Mississauga Arts Council has been great to me. I, I've really worked closely with the Limelight Division and kind of watched it grow and flourish into what it is today, where you have a uh, great expression of everybody in different arts cultures throughout Mississauga. So it's really great to see that. I think in Mississauga, you kind of really have a very broad spectrum of what you can perform at. You have everything from your farmer's markets on your Saturday mornings to your celebration square where you can really get up on stage and just kind of give it your all. There's no real favorite venue, it's just really what you're feeling. If you're looking for more of a coffee house venue, definitely go to the more farmer's market type things. But Mississauga in general just gives you such great exposure to really any type of music or any type of performance that you're looking for that every single avenue you get is fantastic. Mississauga's culture is one of those interesting things because it's a collective of people and I'd say it's less of a culture and it's more of a way of thinking. You get this really good collective of people who really just want to help promote and really expand upon everything that you do that's good. And when you have all these people and these like-minded individuals that are really working together towards a common goal, for me at least, it's really shown to be quite productive and boosting not only my own career but um, other artists around me and stuff like that. So it's been really beneficial to everything I do in the arts. I pretty much say everything about my daily life really inspires me into my art. It'd be a, a coffee that I get for breakfast or what I have for lunch. It's just pretty much, it's a collective of your experience that you yourself hold and sharing that one individual window with everybody that's around you that really is what sharing creative arts is for me. If I can make somebody feel the same emotions in the same way that I really want to portray to them, then that's exactly the whole idea of what's happening. So it's, it's every single aspect of your life that really combines into making the collective that is your expression of it. If I wasn't doing music, I thought I think I really wanted to be a marine biologist. That was like my number one thing before I really started taking my music career seriously. I wish I was a little better at science, but other than that, I think the ocean is one of the coolest places. It's like the last unexplored frontier of the world, and it's kind of cool, so I like the whole thing. I'd consider myself, at least on the summer, I'd, I'd be a full-time artist. I'd, I'm a student as well, I do go to school and stuff like that. I, pretty much how I got to this point, I've been working professionally in the music career for about six years. And really, it's just about networking and getting yourself out there and not being afraid to give yourself the exposure, even if you don't feel like going out to that open mic, if you don't feel like doing it. It's just pushing past that and knowing that the end goal and, and the, the success in the career that you can actually sustain and uphold is much more worth just staying in bed for an extra 15 minutes, right? So. My first ever live performance, I was three years old and I was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And I actually performed at my high school that I went to years, years before, but I was on the stage that I used to perform at later when I was in high school. That was a pretty interesting and nostalgic experience. Currently, I'm working on a new EP. I'm working on writing a bunch of different songs that I'm going to be releasing a little later. It's kind of in the rough stages right now, but I'm just kind of getting some ideas and throwing some song ideas off the wall and seeing what really sticks. I have Veneer's open mic that I'm going to be doing a few days afterwards, so make sure you guys come out and see me there. But other than that, I'm, I'm really just kind of progressing myself uh, as an individual, as a person, as well as in my music career and everything I do there. I have to say I'm really excited for Amphitheater Unplugged. It's going to be great to see what all the talent that Mississauga has to offer and kind of get to see that raw environment where it's just people on stage and really doing what they do best and expressing themselves and having a great time. So it should be a good time. Thanks, Mac, for having me out for this amazing interview. Make sure you guys come down to Amphitheater Unplugged on August 15th and check me out and all the great talent that Mississauga has to offer there. See you guys then.
I hear you go working You say you want your freedom Well, who am I to keep it down? It's only right that you should play the way you feel it. But listen carefully to the sound of your loneliness Like a heartbeat drives in my head In the stillness of remembering what you had And what you lost you have